Dear students, we are having an overview of the cognitive school of thought and uh, the cognition process itself. Uh, in the previous videos, we have uh, learned about what is cognition and its uh, different aspects. We were discussing different aspects. In this video, we will also dis discuss its uh, aspect and we will see that what is the role of cognition in cognitive school of thought and how it plays its role in knowledge acquisition and um, the scene making of the strategies, vision and mission development and formulation of different strategies. So let's have an overview. Uh, remember this uh, list in which I told you that cognition can be seen as confusion, information processing, mapping, concept attainment, and construction. So in this video, we will uh, only see the cognition as concept attainment. Recall this uh, picture in which I told you that cognition plays its role in knowledge attainment and uh, information processing. And this is highly influenced by the experience of a person, thought process, and senses. So in this video, we will see that when uh, we have a certain thing in our mind and we use it for concept attainment, so how the thought process and senses are used. We ignore the experience part of the cognitive process. So cognition as concept attainment, uh, in this uh, lecture, in this uh, slide, we will see that what, how we can use the cognition as concept attainment. So uh, here is the most important point which uh, is to be discussed here is the mental maps and the schemas are used for concept attainment. In previous video, we saw that mental maps and schemas are necessary for a person to develop certain ideas, certain characteristics characteristics of related to certain concept in their mind then they create certain relationships uh, between all those maps and then they take decision on the basis of this we also stated that this is necessary to have a mental map inside mind of a strategist then not to have any if uh, we have a wrong mental map in our mind that is uh, even better than not to have any in mind. So why it is necessary? The question was why it is necessary? So the answer is that mental maps and schemas are used for concept attainment. So what is concept attainment? Let's have an overview. Concept attainment is, in, is that human need naturally tend to group together things as similar characteristics as a coping strategy to deal with the diversity and complexity of the environment. We discussed this thing in uh, the parallel processing model in which we saw that uh, usually we try to uh, gain and, uh, and attain all the information which is uh, happening around us. Our mind tries to acquire all that information and try to put into the different registers. And those registers are uh, made in our mind according to uh, certain um, groups so we must know uh, that how those groups are made this is the human uh, tendency that uh, we try to characterize things on the basis of certain features they have and uh, we then we group those uh, things in our mind and then we put them into a certain register so how that concept is attained that is the important thing and it can be explained with the help of this picture my question from you is that wh what is common in these pictures? If you answer weather, that is the true answer. It means that we have uh, four kind of uh, pictures, four pictures and four weathers are representing here. It means that uh, we have certain thing in our mind, certain features in our mind, and on the basis of these features, we have uh, tried to register these pictures in our mind and relate it, then relate, try to relate all that information, which is termed as weather. Now I have changed one of uh, these pictures. This is the deep sea picture. With this, now this concept is changed, which was uh, already in your mind. Now these pictures are, are not related to all these pictures are not related to the weather. Now what is all about? So it means that we can change the concept. We can, now we have to label another thing to them. This is uh, also the picture of nature. So now we can label all these pictures to the nature. It means that uh, we have, if we want to recall all these three pictures, these can be termed as weather. But if we want to recall uh, these four pictures from our mental maps, these are these will be registered as nature in our mind. That is how the concept is attained in uh, our mind, and that's why that's how we register those things. Uh, in our mind by relating certain characteristics and certain features. 
in uh, conclusion of the uh, cognition as concept attainment we need to understand that strategies are sometimes able to synthesize vast arrays of soft information into new perspectives the uh, thing which i wanted to tell you that there are certain kind of uh, maps in our mind and they sometimes they are wrong sometimes we want to change uh, those maps and uh, these can be registered as a new thing new concept in our mind but as uh, strategy similarly the strategists have vast array, vast array of information in um, their mind and they can synthesize all that information and they can change that information according uh, to the external environmental conditions as well so there are mental maps and mental schemas uh, in their mind and they use those mental maps and schemas for concept attainment they, those concepts are associated with certain features have certain characteristics in them and that can be changed uh, afterwards so uh, this is all about the cognition as concept attainment